Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do your own dip nails at home. I used three powders from Double Dip Nails. They were kind enough to send me over these fun summer colors, and I've never done dip nails myself, so this was the first time I've ever done them. So I'm gonna show you how easy it really can be at home. So let's get into it. The kit I received from Double Dip included three of their summer powders, so I got this neon green called Goo Getter, this neon orange called Atomic Orange, and the neon pink, which is called 90s Baby. The kit also comes with the essential dip liquids, which includes the dip base, the activator, the dip top coat, and a brush cleaner in case any of your brushes get dirty. You also get some extra brush replacements, a buffer block, and a nail file. I also have a discount code to share with you with Double Dip Nails, so if you use the code ELIZABETH, you will get 25% off your purchase. You can select any three colors from their pastel and summer collection, as well as the Dip Essential Liquid, and if you use my code, you will get this free iridescent bag, which is absolutely gorgeous, and you'll also get a powder brush to dust off any excess powder. They also have a Facebook group that you can join called Secret Beauty Circle, and they do weekly giveaways of their products to special fans. So they welcome anyone from professionals to enthusiasts. So if you just enjoy doing your nails, you should definitely check out that Facebook group and join so you can maybe win some giveaways. So all the links will be below. All that information will be in the description box. So if you want to check any of that out, but for now, let's get on with the review. The kit also comes with instructions, so in case you're a newbie like me, it has all the application steps, but since I'm going to be showing you them in this video, I'm just going to skip going over them. Before I start applying the dip, I'm going to be using a thin layer of peel-off base coat because I've never done dip nails before. In case I mess up, I want to be able to peel them off quickly and easily, just like I said, in case I mess up because I've never done them before and dip does last quite a long time. And I'm also doing them with the other hand that I normally film on, so if the angle is a little bit weird, that's why. Again, just in case I messed up, I didn't want to ruin the hand that I normally film on. So now to start with the dips, I am going to be applying a thin layer of the dip base to one nail at a time. So I started with my pinky and then immediately I am dipping my nail into the powder and tapping off the excess and then using that powder brush that I got with the kit to wipe off any excess after I wait a few seconds for the nail to dry. Now I'm just going to repeat those steps for all of my nails, applying a thin layer of the base and then quickly dipping into the powder, waiting a few seconds to brush off the excess. And I decided that I wanted to use all three powders, so I did kind of a Skittle manicure using the pink, orange, and green. These powders were fairly opaque. For one coat, you could still see my nail line a little bit, but I'm guessing that the opacity will build up quite easily. The green was, I think, the most sheer for me. But overall, I was really impressed with the quality of these powders. And again, never having worked with dip before, it was definitely user-friendly and I was able to figure it out. One tip that I picked up throughout this video was making sure that you're applying the base really particularly on your nail. You don't want to get any on your skin because this isn't like regular nail polish where you can just remove any polish that you get on your cuticles with nail polish remover. This stuff is acrylic powder so it's going to be quite a bit more difficult to remove. So you just want to make sure that you're only getting the base on your nail exactly where you want it. Now this was a little bit more challenging for me because I was painting the base on with my non-dominant hand which is something that I don't normally do. But if that shows you anything that I'm out of practice with my non-dominant hand but I was still able to create these really pretty dip nails, I guess that just shows you that this is really easy to do at home. So basically I learned that dip nails were pretty easy. I'm just repeating the same steps by applying a thin layer of the base, immediately dipping the nail into the powder, tapping off the excess, and then waiting a few seconds, and then using powder brush to wipe off the excess powder. 
I decided to do three coats of the powder for each color on each of my nails. I think that the green powder is the only one that wasn't completely opaque after two coats of powder. However, I did three coats for each nail anyway because I wanted to make sure that there was enough powder built up on the nail before I started to buff and file. Once I had three coats of powder on all of my nails, I went in with a coat of the activator which activates the powder and allows you to start buffing. Once I let the activator dry for 30 seconds, I went in with the buffing block that I received with the kit and just buffed my nails to make sure that they were nice and smooth. The final step of creating dip nails is to apply two layers of top coat. So the first layer of top coat doesn't really provide any shine, but it kind of seals in the powder. And then that second coat is where you're going to get the shine. All of that buffing left my cuticles really dry, so I went in with my cuticle serum from Olive and June and just hydrated my cuticles. So here are my finished dip nails. I am really happy with the outcome. I know they're not perfect, but for being my first time using dip powders, I am really pleased, especially for painting them with my non-dominant hand. I think the major tip that I took away from this is making sure that you're being really precise where you place that base coat of polish before you dip your nails in. Just making sure that you don't get too close to the cuticles and flood them. Don't get any of that base on your skin before you dip because like I said, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to remove and making sure that the base is really precisely applied is going to be what makes your manicure look really professional. 
So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned something. I had never done dip before, so I definitely learned and I am still learning. I think the next video I use for dip nails, I want to try doing an ombre with that pink and orange color. So if that's a video you'd like to see, give this video a thumbs up. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers. And also be sure to check out all the links below in the description box where you can purchase these powders and don't forget to use my code Elizabeth for 25% off your purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. This is if anyone was curious for how the nails popped off.